Okay, this video is about the soft top roof lock on a BMW Z4. So here I'm sitting in my Z4. I've got the key to the on position. Haven't started the car, just to get power. This is the motor that actuates the, turns the cables, that then actuates the locks on each side of the soft top. Um, this is what it sounds like when it's not working, basically. So here we go. Pressing the open button. Nothing happening. And you can also sort of see that center screw is trying to spin, but it's not going anywhere. And now reason for this failure is that inside this gearbox, it's a plastic gear and it shatters or cracks. And then you can't spin it anymore. It doesn't work. So even though this motor is still moving and making a lot of noise, the gearbox inside is broken. So it can't turn the cables to unlock it. So anyway, that's, if you hear that noise and your top's not coming down, then it's a good chance your locking mechanism has busted. So you can either swap out the gear inside of this or swap out the whole motor system. Now me, today, I'm going to see if I can get behind here to get access to the whole motor system. Um, boy, I, I don't know if I'm going to, but <laughs> what we're going to try is a, a hex key uh, from an Allen wrench or a torque uh, will uh, be able to open this center one. You'll be able to manually screw it and unscrew it to actuate the lock. So I'm going to give that a go right now. Okay, so if you look in here... You can see that cable says right, that cable heads to the right lock. And then there's another one that says left on the other side. I'm going to put my uh, Allen wrench in here. And you'll notice that when I turn it, and which way am I going to turn it? Let me get a better grip on it. There, as I turn it, you can see the it's spinning that cable. Like, we can't see the words right anymore. Now, if I turn it this way, the words right come back. So, as you spin this, you can manually unlock your roof. Sort of like old-timey, right? Just winding it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like unlocked. You know, I unwound it using the center. Um, Obviously, you have your car, so you've been able to look at this before, but you never may have paid attention. There's actually a couple of screws. So here's one. There's another two, three, four. And to me, those appear to be what holds on the metal, me, uh, not the metal, the plastic. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the flashlight in. This is the same time. Appears to be what holds on this plastic trim. So I'm going to take out these four screws on the front and hopefully that will give me access to pull the trim down that we can get uh, better availability to get out that motor. Okay, let me show you what it looks like inside. So we got, uh, we took out the four screws on the front and that, at least on mine, immediately dropped down the piece of trim, which was perfect. It seems to be attached to the sound deadening portion or the inner liner of the soft top. I'm just going to let it hang there. Seems to be fine. And I'm going to come after this motor and gear set right here. This particular, the motor and gear set, oh yeah, as for the motor and gear set here for the lock, it appears to be held on just by two nuts, this one and this one. So that's what I'm going to do next. It'll be an awkward angle, so I don't know if I'm going to get a camera shot of me taking it out. But I'm going to unbolt those two and then the cables right there and the other one on that side they should be slip fit and I'll show you what they look like on the replacement part I have that way it'll just be more apparent okay so this is the replacement motor and it has the cable bundled with it 
If you look at the ends, you can see they're threaded. So they just thread and they slide onto these spindles. That's one spindle. Here's the other spindle. So they just should press and pull right off the sides. Two bolts. That's going to be the new one I put in. Okay, well, we got this thing hanging in free. In order to get this plug undone for the electrical, I need to turn it. And to do that, I need a little bit more space. So I'm going to have to pull out this other bracket. It's held by four bolts. This one here, I already removed that one, this one, and that one. Okay, here it is dangling. I got out the power block by turning it. I just pulled the frame down a little bit after loosening the nuts. Not gave me enough room.